Hello and welcome to the Joint Operations Training Ground Pre-Course Familiarization. This video will cover the basic rules and procedures you will be required to know and follow during all courses you attend. The purpose of this video is to expedite training by giving you the tools necessary to succeed before you ever step foot on the training grounds. The rules are very simple. 1. Obey all orders from training staff and the chain of command. 2. Conduct yourself as a professional at all times. 3. All rules from Camp Tillman apply to the JOTG. Lastly, pay attention and listen to the instructors because you will be tested at the end of most courses. At the start of each course, you will find yourself here in the trainee staging area. Please remain in formation and at the position of attention until your instructors tell you otherwise. This is the location where the instructors will cover any rules or information specific to that day's block of instruction. If you are attending the JTAC certification course, you will be told to proceed to the classroom. On the command fallout, you will head into the building and fill the classroom from front to back, right to left. To sit, simply look at your chair and use the scroll wheel to get the option. Once seated, face the front and double tap your alt key so you can free look without turning your entire body. If you are attending one of the other courses, you will most likely be taken to an outside location somewhere on the flight line. This is the location of the transport aircraft. To the right is the fixed wing cast and to the left is the rotary wing cast. If asked to get gear, you will do so here at the virtual ammo box. Only get the gear you were told to. If told to proceed to OP Alpha, OP Bravo, or OP Charlie, you will do so at this flag. Use your scroll wheel to teleport to the assigned observation post. Each OP has a virtual ammo box and a teleport flag that links it to the other OPs and the airfield. Also, at each OP there is a spawn flag that the instructors will use to spawn targets for demonstration and testing purposes. Do not use this flag unless specifically told to do so by your instructor. These OPs are the locations where you will observe the instructors giving different examples of the techniques and procedures you learned about at the airfield. Once all trainees are comfortable with the materials covered, the live fire practical application phase will begin. All trainees will be required to demonstrate a solid grasp and understanding of that day's lessons, and depending on the course, you may be graded for certification purposes. This concludes the Joint Operations Training Ground pre-course familiarization. Thank you for your time and attention.